We're following breaking news out of Pompano Beach where migrants have come ashore this morning. Sky 10 capturing a boat pressed against a seawall nearby. Let's go now to Local 10 News reporter Syra Onward. She's live at that scene with some breaking details for us. Syra, what can you tell us? So Janice and Christy, earlier this morning, Broward Sheriff's Office put out that they had 11 people in custody, migrants that came on shore in this boat. But within the last hour since we've been here, we watched at least three men get tracked down and taken into custody by federal agents. I actually spoke to one as he was getting handcuffed, asked him why he decided to go on this dangerous journey from Jamaica. Our cameras rolling as federal agents and Broward Sheriff's deputies arrest multiple men they say arrived on board a migrant boat. While handcuffed, this man tells us why they made the trek from Jamaica to the Bahamas, then to Pompano Beach this morning. Fear killing going over here. Really want to leave. Want a, want a better life. No life is in Jamaica right now. David Doobie says he was at the inlet in Pompano Beach this morning when he made this cell phone recording of the boat. It was coming real slow, zigging and zagging. You can tell it was something wasn't right. Sky 10 shows the migrants boat after it crashed into the seawall. Marine patrols pulling up to it when the intense search for the people on board ensues. Broward Sheriff's Office says around 845 this morning, the boat carrying migrants came ashore along Southeast 28th Avenue and Atlantic Boulevard. I just saw a man run through our yard. Mary Cheever tells us she was afraid one of the men from the boat was going to enter her house through the open front door. She says thankfully that didn't happen. It was scary, but I'm just glad that everything's over. But it may not be over. After taking a dozen of the people who may have been on board the boat into custody, agents continue searching the area. And we're still seeing agents around the water. We've seen them checking empty structures, homes, storage units, even dumpsters. These people will likely be taken to a processing center where their fate in the U.S. is still to be determined. That's the latest live in Pompano Beach. Syra Onwar, Local 10 News.